Hello and welcome to Maltbox, the non-chill filtered whisky vlog. I'm Andy and this is whisky review number 96. What I have for you today is a single malt scotch whisky from Speyside. It definitely falls into the affordable category and it definitely falls into the widely available category as well. Because it comes in the form of this. The Glen Murray Elgin Classic port cask finish. So this is a whiskey that sits inside of Glen Murray's classics range. So I have reviewed their original, I don't guess you'd define it as Elgin Classic, which basically you know is non-finished whiskey um, a couple of years back. And um, Glen Murray have never been scared of finishing things. Um, they recently got pulled up by the SWA um, for a release where they matured, well, I say matured, where they had a whiskey that spent a finishing period in cider casks. The SWA did not like that, and as such, they have rewritten or re clarified the rules, I guess, to, to say that you cannot do that. So, this, however, is all above board. And what this is, it's basically a no age statement whiskey, it's bottled at 40%. I imagine it's chill filtered. As to added colouring, do you know what? I don't know because it doesn't tell me anywhere. Um, it doesn't tell. Well, it doesn't say natural colour at least. Anyway, it didn't on the box, which I no longer have because it came in a little gift pack with a couple of glasses. Um, can't see mid farp stuff anywhere, so we'll just have to guess. So this, when I opened up saying that this fell into the affordable category, this retails, generally speaking, between twenty and thirty quid. I say between 20 and 30, that's a £10 gap, that's not a small gap, but you do find it on offer in supermarkets and online and places like that. I picked up the gift set with two glasses for 30 quid from Amazon. If you buy the whiskey itself, just on its own, from places like Master of Malt, and the whiskey exchange is about 25 quid. So it's, you know, there or thereabouts in the ballpark. Now, this is initially matured in ex-bourbon I believe, refill bourbon, um, before spending eight months in ex-port casks from Porto Cruz. So again I'm not sure whether it's natural colour but I've got to be honest there is a little pinkish hue in there. There is. It's probably not as noticeable again in this light. I do apologise guys. It's not the best light in the world. Um, let's see again if we can find something white. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if it's see if you can see that kind of like pinkish hue. There's a little bit of one in there, just a little bit, not much, but a little bit. So on the colour front, you know, again, we're not too sure whether it's natural colour, but I cannot deny that there is a little pinkish hue in there. It's very akin to a Provence rose from southern France. On the nose. Well, I mean, straight away, there's definitely, definitely a lot of influence there from that eight month finishing period in those port casks. There's some very atypical port notes on the nose. We've got red berries, we've got chocolate. Blackberries, many berries, <laughs> it's all going on. It's very soft, it's very sweet. But it's also got a little bit of bitterness there as well. A bit of vanilla. Maybe some um, maybe some biscuit, like digestive or malted milk biscuit. Quite drying at the end on the nose, actually. It's quite, you know, quite drying after all those initial red fruits and sweet and all very sort of like, you know, candy flossy kind of things going on. It's um, it gets a little bit dry towards the end. It's quite well balanced. Yeah, maybe a little bit of coffee, possibly. So it's bottled at forty percent. Um, I know that. Uh, 
you know, I mean, Glenmurray have got quite, um, or they certainly used to have quite a large range. Uh, I mean, one of their most popular bottles was actually one of their entry level bottlings, which was the Chardonnay 10 year old. So that was a whiskey finished in Chardonnay casks, and that used to be lovely, and sadly, it is discontinued. Right, on the palette. Mouth feels there or thereabouts. Interestingly, it's not the sort of same flavours from the nose that pull through, which is what you find a lot in whiskey. There is generally a correlation. However, on the palate, I'm now getting citrus, I'm getting cream, I'm getting like lemon meringue pie. It's quite tart initially, it really is quite tart. There's spice, I think it's cinnamon. There's ginger, the chocolate comes back going into the finish. There's a lot of oak influence as well. And again, kind of goes back to what I was saying before, gets a little bit dry. I mean, this, I might as well say it, this isn't a whiskey that is A, gonna blow your socks off, or B, upset anybody. That doesn't I mean it's going to, it's inoffensive it's not it's already i can tell it's a very very nice little drop um but at the end of the day it's a, a price point where it's incredibly accessible and i think glen murray historically have been a very very good choice for people who've just started their whiskey journey because you do find glen murray in supermarkets you find them in tesco uh, and places like that They're not a small operation. A lot of their whiskey goes into their parents company blend, which thinks label five over in France. So a lot of their malt actually goes into that, uh, that range. Yeah, there's, there's maybe a little bit of fruit, but I'm thinking more apple. Than berries and red fruit, like on the on the nose. For me, it's a lot crisper on the palate, not as soft. Um, it's much more akin on the palate to the actual non-finished Elgin Classic. You know, it's a bit of vanilla, there's green fruits, stewed fruits, things like that. It's a little bit grassy actually as well. And the finish again, chocolate, quite warm, decent length. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'm I would happily buy that again. This. This isn't something that you're going to sit down with for two hours and wax lyrical about it. This isn't a 1960s Lagavulin. This is not a 1928 Macallan. All right, let's let's get that, let's get this straight. This is a drinking whiskey. Right now, I drink my whiskey. I do not collect it. I drink it. Anything that I've not drunk yet, it's just coincidence. I've just not got round to it. And this is a very unassuming, very honest apart potentially from the colour and the shelf filtration, obviously. Affordable, widely accessible, single malt. What, 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 you know, what more could you want? It's, it's nice, it's lovely. I mean, I think in, in the current weather, which is a little bit warmer here in Northern England, it's really nice to have in the garden, just first tram of the night. Just kick back, chill, just enjoy that, enjoy the ride. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.